All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to pull the astronomy picture of the day uh, over from apod.nasa.gov. It's a new picture uh, every day, and you get a description with it, like here, and we can get that title, and we can get this to show up in KLWP. As you see right here, I have it inside of a component. I will share this component on my KLWP toots. And um, yeah, so how do we do it? I looked at this a while back and KOWP doesn't have the ability to do in task or what is called HTTP get where we can take like a HTML code that's not proper XML or whatever and we in task or you can still do like a variable split. However, uh, Hippie Randall sent a request in and he was trying to you know get this information and he I didn't even know this existed but we can get an API for this and this API will be in like a JavaScript format or whatever and we can do some JSON parsing to actually get uh, the link to the picture, the description and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. Go over to api.nasa.gov, go to API key sign up, fill in some quick information and they'll email you your API key. So then once you get that, I'm going to come back here to get started. I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and this is not my API key. I highly recommend you get your own. I don't think you want to be using the one that's shown right here. However, this is open to anybody, this little API URL. So I'm going to take that just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to copy, and actually I already have it pasted right here. But nonetheless, um, boom, press enter, and you know, here's what it's pulling up. Also to mention to you, once you get the API, Feel free, look at this NASA API listing, and we can pull other things as well, you know, Mars rover photos, Earth, or whatever. I'm going to mess around with these a little bit later, but for now, I want to show you how to get this stuff and to get it onto your uh, KOWP, your custom live wallpaper. So, once we get the API key, again, this is, the, this is not my API key, but this is what you want to do. You want to take that link right there. You want to copy and paste it into KOWP. So I'm going to go into KOWP now, and I'm going to show that to you. And in KOWP, create you a text global variable. I called my NASA, and then I've pasted that link into here, but I went ahead and just changed this. You need to, if you were to download uh, this from the KOWP toots, replace your API key right there, and notice that web address matches this perfectly up here. So once we have that done, the first thing we want to focus on maybe is, I don't know, let's get the title out of this thing. So I tell you what, let me back out of here um, because I'm going to have to let it, just by me backing out, I didn't save this. So now when I load it back up, my API key is going to be loaded in here. As you can see, the information is showing. But here's how we do it. Since I already have this set up, I've got it set up in a component that I'm going to be sharing. And I have it in a stack group. i got three pieces. I have the text. I have the square and then I have the text um, and the text here is a title then I have the photo I have it set up as a square but you could do an image and then you have the text down here with the explanation and I'm going to show you how to pull all this information so for right now I'm going to uh, well I just need to keep this there let me just let me go to each item and show it to you how about that so if I go over to text and I go to this basically what I'm trying to pull is let me leave this on top I'm trying to get this right here. I'm trying to get the title. Well, here's the code to get it. Um, we do a web get, and we want to do a JSON parsing on it. So if you're familiar with JSON parsing, um, down here in our coding, let me find it, WG, and it's the one at the very bottom. So we want a web address, comma, JSON, comma, and then we start parsing it where we want to go to. So since everything's lined up here in this little JavaScript, I think this is like a JavaScript format, um, what we want to do, we do a GV NASA, that's that text global variable, comma, JSON, comma. And since everything right here is lined up, we can go straight to the title by doing a period with title. And notice it will pull the title. That's all we have to do there. Now, if I were to change this, let me change this to, um, let me pull, show you how it's going to change. If I take away title, let's pull on, uh, da, 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 da. what's something else? How about the date? See, it's like here I had title. If I type in date, D-A-T-E, Look, it's pulling that right there. Maybe I need to zoom in a little bit for you, but notice it is showing that right here in KOWP. So I'm going to leave it at title, so I'm just going to back out of this. And then let's go ahead and come down here to the next text item. It's pretty much the same code, except now we want to pull the explanation. So if I go to this other text item with the long paragraph, it's the same code, except I do dot explanation. 
And again, this is pulling the text global variable, and you have to put your API key in that text global variable to pull this information. So there's our explanation. That's all this stuff here. You know, NG6 or NGC6888. As you can see, it's also that also this uh, same thing showing over here. Now, how do we get the image? Well, there's two ways we can get the image. We can get from the URL, and I'm guessing this is the high definition one, the one that I'm pulling. If I, let me take this away from the top. Um, one of them, I'm guessing this is the high definition one, but the one that I'm pulling is just this one right here. I'm just trying to save a little bit of space on my cache or whatever. But feel free to uh, go change the code a little bit if you'd like. So let me go back to here and let me go to that image. So I got a square and this square I went over to FX and you can set the texture to bitmap. That way you can actually apply this little code um, and you have to press the check, you have to press the calculator button, but here's what the code is. Same code, except now I want to go to the URL. So notice that URL, HTTP, blah, 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 blah. It's the exact same thing we see right here that's highlighted. So I hope that makes sense. So what that's going to do is uh, KOWP is going to actually pull that URL and then notice, you know, once we do that, it'll actually download that image or and then show it on your uh, custom live wallpaper. So that's how I'm getting all three of these pieces, just like that. So while I have you here too, let me show you some alternative ways of pulling this image if you didn't want to use the uh, square that we have there. So if I go back to the square, obviously we can change this to any shape we want. And it's going to, if we save this and go back to the home screen, now we have a circle. I don't know if you can see that too much because of the dark in the picture and then the, the black background, but it is a circle now. But an alternative is to actually use the image, um, the image piece. So let me go to that circle. Let me copy the this little piece right here. Of course, I'm going to take away the HD. I'm, I think I'm going to be just fine with just the URL. We'll see right here in a second. So I'm going to copy all this. And let me back out. Now I'm going to delete the shape and I'm just going to apply an image to this thing. So let's go to plus, go to image, and I'm going to slide this in the middle. So over here to image. So now I'm actually going straight to, you know, uh, doing the bitmap versus us um, doing a shape and going to FX. So we got bitmap. I'm going to check on this box. I'm going to go up to the calculator and I'm going to paste that code into here. So it's still going to pull that same link. And now, it, okay, check it out. See how, now the width, okay, it's going to pull whatever type of dimension it's going to be. So in this case, it's like got a rectangular shape. And as we can see over here, let me leave that on top real quick. But, you know, it's kind of a rectangular image. So it's going to pull whatever type of size um, like that. Now let me save this and go back to the home screen. Let's see if it's any clearer or whatever. Um, so... You know, that still looks good. I mean, you may see a little bit of distortedness because of the video quality, but nonetheless, I mean, it's not bad the way it is right there. So you, you can do that instead of doing the shape, whichever way you want to do it. And of course, you just change the width of it like that. Now, one more thing to show you before you go. The text down here, this can get long. The explanation, as we see over here, all this, if it if it gets too long to where it's cutting off your screen, here's some options. I haven't really mentioned this, but you probably already know if you've been messing with KOWP for a while. If we go to the place where this text is, I got it set to a fixed width, and that fixed width, I got it set to approximately, you know, the whole screen width. I think I'm doing like 95% of my screen width. That way it's not right at the edge. But nonetheless, if I scroll down a little bit, if we adjust the max line, if I start cutting this back, it's only going to show five lines of this paragraph. Um, you can do some other coding to put the dot, dot, dot on the end of it if you'd like. Um, I think I did do some tutorials way back on things like that. But nonetheless, you know, if I bump this up, it'll show 10 lines, 15, 20. And after 20 lines, it's showing everything. But if I bump this up to 25, even though it didn't change on me, if this thing was 25 lines, it would uh, show that. But if you go too far, now right now you don't see it changing. But if this paragraph was longer, say for tomorrow's picture, because this thing will update every day um, based on whatever's getting pulled from that API that you used. But if we had something that was 40 lines long, probably what's going to happen is it's going to throw this stuff up here at the top of your screen and it's going to cut it off. So this is how you can prevent that. You can knock this down a little bit. And like once I hit 15, I'm starting to lose some stuff. Or you can adjust your text size.
But there you have it. That is how you can pull the astronomy picture of the day using the NASA API. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.